What is up guys? We are back with some more E46 content for you. Today we're going to be polishing Andy's uh, E46 drift car along with a few other things around the shop. I really didn't think that through before it came flying in, did I? <laughs> if you missed the last 335 video, I'll make sure to link it right here. This thing's actually running and driving now after we, uh, after we had to replace a few things on it. We're going to be doing some cool mods to this car, so make sure to go ahead and check that video out and follow along. But we got to get her out of here so we can get Andy's E46 into the shop. Let me get a little cold start. Two K. Three K. Three K. And he got a little muffed lead done on his E46 the other day. He didn't want me to do it, unfortunately. He actually took it to a professional shop, which probably a smart move. Man, this thing is clean though. He's gonna go ahead and polish this sucker out. Hopefully, he can get a little more. Actually, I think he tried the trunk already. Did you test on the trunk last night? Yeah. Yeah, it looks good. On one side. On this side? This side. Yeah. Oh, look what we have here. Another one. Beamers on beamers on beamers out here. Shoot, boy, you got some fresh meats on there. Yeah, dude, I know. This thing's been sitting for a long time. It's been sitting for about a month, probably a little, a little bit over. Back. Can you unlock the passenger door? Let's see this fresh trim, buddy. Oh. Ah. That's nice. Wow, eBay special. Oh, so you got it on this side. That's nice. I like that. I Mods. That You're lucky because you have the leather right here. You yeah. don't have that stupid wood piece. Ah, oh, the 46 versus the 90. Need a bumper for that thing. No, but like right here, you can see. So this is the side that I haven't done. I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna do about this. This might require some sort of sanding. This part right here, I have not done, but this right here, all the way up this line, has been done. So um, I don't know if it shows on camera, but there's a very noticeable difference. A lot less hazy, and kind of spider web uh, type. I think that's what they call it when it comes to those scratches. So uh, it's turned out good right now. So out here is our dumpster, right in this little gate. This is where we throw away all our old car parts, especially subframes that are bent and um, a bunch of other junk, which is really helpful. About 50 feet away from the shop, that way we can toss stuff in here and not have to take it somewhere else. So while these guys are working on their E46, I've been doing some shop mods. Uh, clean this table up and actually give it a light polish so that way it looks a lot better. I'm gonna go ahead and start putting everything back on it. Also have not updated you guys on the lobby of the shop yet. So I did put up some E36 stuff here and a cool little map thing. And then this is actually my GTR that I used to have from JR Garage. I think I'm gonna go and take these down. And I have these cool little tiles called Mix Tiles. Um, this is not a sponsored video, but if you wanna go ahead and check some out, just Google Mix Tiles. And I have a whole bunch of them. That is actually what is on this wall here. There are all these cool little pictures that you can go ahead and put on and have them print them out. And they uh, have some adhesive on top and you stick them on the wall and you can move them around, which is really cool. Got my E36 here and my S13 drifting and a couple other cool Mustang pictures and my S13 and so on and so forth. The adhesive is right at the top. I peel this off and you can stick them on the wall and uh, they're really light. And the quality is actually pretty good too. Probably gonna put them up on this side of the wall, probably take these down, maybe put them in the bathroom. And that way we can have some more cool uh, cool art up here in the shop. Also, if you guys want to have a peel box, I'll go ahead and link it down in the description if you guys want to send something into the channel. I'm always looking for cool stuff to put up in the shop and in the lobby. We'll make sure to get it in a video. I've had some E36 turbo parts laying around for quite some time. Haven't had a chance to organize them yet. I bought some kit off some guy a long, long time ago and he gave me all these parts for a heck of a deal. They're all laying around here. I'm gonna go ahead and actually get them out of this nasty old corner, box them up and set them on the shelf for the time comes. That'll be Turbo, the barn. Just in case you guys are wondering, I am aware that my backing plate is actually way too small for this pad. Uh, yesterday I was wanting to get this job done and I realized I was just gonna go for it with this large pad because I didn't have anything else. So it's turning out good though. All right guys, let me know what you think. The new look in here, we got the mixed tiles up on the wall. 
I think they came out pretty nice. I actually need a few more that way I can space them out. I might order some more someday. But now we got the pictures up here, mixed tiles on that wall, and more mixed tiles on this wall. And then my uh, second place little steering wheel trophy, and the lit sign, and all the fun snacks. So right now, I just finished up doing the buffing on the car. Because what I'm doing right now is I'm applying kind of a gloss enhancer on the paint. You can use it with a buffer or not. I just decided to do it by hand because it's a lot faster right now. But it's turning out really, really good. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Wow. Big piece of Nissan out there. Oh, crap. Oh, that sounds awesome. That's a lot better. Oh, Sick. Wow. So Andy just finished the polish on his E46. Came out really nice, looks a lot better than it did before. It is a drift car, but he's a detailer and he wants to make it look good, which is cool. And we're trying to be more stylish these days. No, it's good. It's good. Add some functionality to the room. Yeah, it's actually a good height. Yeah, no, I don't like it. Beautiful. You did the reveal, so you got him there. You got him there. You got the nice couch, you got the coffee table, and now you got the complete set of the desk, which adds a complete look to the lobby, and it makes it more functional. That thing is a unit. But guys, the shop's looking better. Got this table all cleaned up, got the whiteboard on there, got a nice little J-Speed logo. Really cleaned up this corner, which helped a lot. I think I'm gonna actually start putting some stuff up on the walls, as in like uh, shelves and shelving and stuff like that. That way we can get it all uh, tidied up a little more. We got a little bit of ways to go, but we got a lot done today. Well, guys, that is going to do it for today's video. Don't forget, go hit that thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video.